a.m. Eastern. But that's different and diff uh, different in different markets, different times in different markets. The show airs. But figured out that the show is airing uh, seven days a week somewhere, given the way it's syndicated. So it's all good. And, of course, uh, there's always a way to connect uh, digitally as well. We always tell you about that. Yeah, you can go to iHeart.com and Let's Talk Nutrition, and that's our podcast. Um, it's up there by title. Like yesterday, we had Keto and Fiber and How to Improve Oral Health the day before. And we had some calls yesterday um, that I had to field around about 4 o'clock about that, Doc. So uh, one was we had to talk. Somebody was asking what the product was, the uh, dental product that we were talking about with Dr. Sally Bird. And I think that was the Silver Biotics Gel and the Silver Biotics Whitening Toothpaste. And then the other was, was the Herba Prima Psyllium Husk. Fiber. Yeah, and that and the other uh, Herba Prima product was Daily Fiber. It's a blend of four different fibers. And we talked about that yesterday. And they wanted some clarification on the different fibers. Was the other question I had from them. The in the in, the psyllium husk, yeah. Okay, in terms of you know, there's soluble fiber. There's a, what, different ways to classify fiber: uh, soluble, insoluble, and then. Within those categories, there are different kinds of fiber. So I want to thank Fernando from the office for calling me because he had a couple people were ordering that and he didn't know what it oh, was. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So there you go. Tapping in. At, you know, we we were laughing before we came on air because we have such a good time doing the show, mm. and there's some stories that were trending about laughter and <laughs> happiness, and. One of them, I, Katie sent us a story about jet lag in pistachios. Yeah, I saw that. And Speaking I, of happiness, uh, the, now that you just triggered my recollection, I was in the uh, grocery store and I saw an issue of Time. I think it's a current issue of Time magazine devoted to happiness. It, the, 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 it, the edition was like $18, $19. Oh, my God. I didn't buy it. Um, it's a lot of money. I can buy a book for that. It was 18 bucks. It's all about, it's about the science of happiness. Yeah. Uh, the science of happiness book, um, from time. It's in, it's also an ebook. Exactly. So yeah, they, they have over time has spent a lot of time over the years talking about this theme, this theme of happiness. It's come up on the show. It's part of wellness. And, you know, what, you know, I don't know, answering the question, what is happiness, the invest, science of happiness, they, they explore that. What does it mean to people in everyday life? Um, talk, you talk to everyday people, say, you know, what makes you happy? What is happiness? How do you go about achieving it? It's interesting. Some people are never happy no matter what. <laughs> Seems right. They're always they're always in some form of grievance. Debbie Downer, as uh, I like to call it, you yeah. know, money can't buy happiness. They say, but well, poverty poverty can sure create a lot of unhappiness. I can yeah. tell you that. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, flip that coin over. Money can't buy happiness. Well, no, unto itself, but it can certainly increase your odds of being happy. Poverty doesn't inspire happiness generally. You know, dire poverty, deprivation, downtrodden elements of society that, you know, no, I don't think so. So, you know, I get it. I know that the implication there is that happiness is more about, you know, your psychological, spiritual dimension. Mm. I get all that. But at the same time, uh, you know, not having the means to to make decisions about what kind of food to buy because you don't have enough money, or to whether you buy your prescription drugs or your food uh, because you don't have enough money. I can go on and on, struggling to pay your bills. You don't think that that inspires a lot of unhappiness? Oh. It absolutely does. 
So, you know, but, you know, there are people that have more money than, than they would ever need, and they're not happy. And that, that doesn't mean that you know, it's all, all of that's driven just by money. You know, money is the, ca the cause for happiness or unhappiness. It's not. It's a multi, there are a lot of variables involved here. Um, there are people who have very little but are happy in life. They have figured out somewhere along the way, taught a set of values and know how to negotiate and manage that life, that world. You go and you travel and you go to some of these countries where there's not much and you you know you visit with people in in their in their environment and you see how happy they are and you see and you but you look around and you see the poverty and you wonder how can, how you know how could they how could they even have a smile you know when Katie took over doing the show with us mm. i now find myself in a better mood every morning because i i talk I have a discussion with her every morning and um, Katie probably is the most happiest person I meet every morning. Aww. And you, you are. It's probably because we get up so early and yeah. everybody's usually angry yeah, pre-coffee. She, she was up, she'd been up since 2.30 when you, by the time <laughs> you see her, she's been up since 2.30 working. I've had coffee flowing through my veins already. I'm good yeah. to go. Yeah. You and it's. You haven't seen her at, at, at you know. <laughs> I, see her, I see her driving down 301, though, on the At first hour, <laughs> yeah. first two hours. You know, what are we dealing with here? No, I'm just kidding. It, um, but, you know. Well, it, your interaction, so yeah. you, what you're implying is that communication can be a form, uh, a, a pathway. And it is. You know, interacting with, with her, you know, working, it makes a difference. It brings a level of, of um Happiness and joy to the job, you know, and ple more pleasant. Um, yeah, being connected to others, right? Well, I see you, how you interact with people in the building, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And I love it because you smile, you make them smile. Every, mor every morning, you know, we have a certain person, she walks by. Yeah. And it's just like, it's, there's that glow. Well, people, you know, I don't know. These things are learned early in life. What has happened, what happens to people mm. in those formidable years, the first three years of life, you talk to child psychologists and they will tell you, and the literature supports it. You know, a lot of what was going to happen for you as an adult, that foundation and those, that destiny is formed early in life. And, um, you know, we all grew up in different kinds of environments and some of us, and it's just random whether you, you have a wonderful household, loving parents, or it's a, a place of great desperation. And those, it leads to formal adjustment. Mm. And, you know, as, as um, formidable as we are as a species and how strong we can be, we are also very vulnerable uh, emotionally and otherwise. We are, it's, it's paradoxical. Um, the show, is, the show is a health talk show, but it's a show about life, so these themes are important. And um, to try and figure out, you know, it's not just about biology, you know, and chemistry and anatomy and physiology. There's much more that goes into this, this discussion, this conversation about health and wellness and then well-being. But communication can be, and relationships can be a, a great avenue for happiness or, or otherwise, too. Come back. There's some things going on with uh, the CDC and paralysis. I'll explain. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. It's me, your immune system. I'm always hard at work defending you against the many diseases.
response and reduce both the duration and severity of cold and flu symptoms. Help me protect you with Kyolic supplements and nutritional drink mixes to fortify your immune health today. Available at fine natural health retailers. The science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence. One way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair. Ridgecrest Herbal's award-winning Hair Revive can support healthy, attractive hair. Hair Revive is formulated with a stress-fighting complex, hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit PGX.com. Top Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, always feel comfortable in calling the show. It's a listener-friendly show, and um, we love it when you call and uh, spend a few moments with you exploring whatever's on your mind. If you, you may have questions, make comments, share a story, uh, something that can relate to what we're talking about or not. It doesn't have to. You may have something that you've been thinking about it's on your, and, it, and it's on your mind, and you want to you know, chat about it. We're happy to do that. Uh, there's a, there is a, a, some pattern here. There's a story trending. This has been going on for a while, but I can see that there's more activity surrounding this, the Centers for Disease Control and uh, Prevention's investigations into a unusual and rare type of paralysis that has been occurring in children in this odd pattern. Uh, Last year, in 2018, 
health officials from the CDC and other institutions and organizations, medically related, uh, what we're talking about and uh, notice that a record number of cases of a rare, mysterious um, neurological condition was causing weaknesses and paral weakness and paralysis in the limbs of children. The average age is about five. And last year, there was more than 200 children across the country that presented with the symptoms associated with this paralysis. The condition, there's a name for it. It's called acute flaccid myelitis, AFM. And uh, the illness, in part of its, a part of its pattern, it tends to emerge in late summer and early fall. It's kind of interesting because you have what coming in at that time of year? Cold, cold viruses, right? Cold virus. Late summer, early fall. Mm. So keep that in the back of your mind for a second. Uh, the acute uh, um, flaccid myelitis involves uh, this weakness in the legs and the arms and stiffness in the neck. The eyelids tend to droop and face muscles tend to droop. Uh, also, a uh, person, will, the child will have a, most, this is mostly happening in children, will have a hard time swallowing and they will, you'll notice that they're slur slurring their speech. The reports are that this paralysis, this condition, this acute flaccid myelitis is similar to, um, appears similar to polio. And when I was a boy, uh, polio was, and the nemesis, until Dr. Salk, uh, I, I recall, out of the University of Pittsburgh, found the vaccine for polio. So I often wonder, you know, anti-vaxxers, if they would have opposed Dr. Salk at that time, we would have not, that va and that vaccine would have never made it to market, let's say, just hypothetically. There were children that they were crippled, by polio then, and they had all these machines, and you saw the kids at school, they had braces, metal braces. It was hideous. It was, it's a hideous uh, uh, disease. This condition now that they're seeing, oh, and it happens every other year. They see a rise every other year. So it was last year was 2018. Now, so if 2020, they should see another uh, frequency increase. We'll see what happens here throughout 2019. But there have been five, back in 2014, speaking of even years, 570 recorded, there have, let me strike, strike that, there have been 570 recorded cases since 2014. In 2018, there were 233 cases in 41 states. That's the largest reported outbreak since this particular condition, acute flaccid myelitis, has emerged. And you have officials at the, at the CDC, like Dr. Ann uh, Shushat. Uh, she's the agency principal direct, uh, deputy director. She said, we don't right now have an explanation for the every other year pattern. And we really need to be ready to rapidly detect, report, and investigate each case this year and be ready for possibly a bad year this year. Close quote. So um, this is strange. The common, the common denominator with this condition, AF, AFM, is it's, a, it's affecting children about, about five. At, at five is the average. And 70 to 80% of these youngsters whose cases have been followed still have limb weak weakness months after they develop the condition. There is no proven treatment and there is no, uh, no proven prevention either. Although they did say, and I'm quoting from a uh, Dr. Clark, that early and aggressive physical therapy and real rehabilitation, close quote, may offer some benefit. Traces, now they suspect it's a virus. 
because they have found traces of viruses in the respiratory and stool samples of these children. And, and that in two cases, patients, uh, patients' spinal fluid, they would do a spinal tap, right? This, then the strongest link uh, they have here is to some sort of neurological disease that may implicate an enterovirus. And what happens, it affects the spine. Uh, New York Times uh, did a, a nice story on it, and so did WebMD. There's, there's more I can tell you. But there's some other facts associated with this story. I'll share that and much more when we come back. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition, coast to coast and globally. when you wake. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order, to find out where to find Hepinol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at whnz.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. And iHeartRadio station. Hey, friends, this is Frank Cotto, the host of the Business Happy Hour. Myself, Ryan Pelkey, and Doug Ford will be live every Wednesday at 11 a.m. We are the number one show for business and entrepreneurship in Tampa, so tune in every Wednesday on 1250 live at 11 a.m. News on 1250 WHNZ. Hurricane Hunter planes are heading into the low pressure system in North Florida as it's expected to develop into a more organized mass. We will have a depression at one point or another over the next uh, potentially 24 hours. And with water temperatures in the northern Gulf running about 5 degrees above normal, uh, the potential to get stronger. Meteorologist Ray Stajic with the Weather Channel says the Gulf Coast can expect rain and rip currents in the next couple of days. A worker at Disney was nearly buried alive after an accident outside the animal kingdom. The ground gave way and he fell into a hole about 10 feet deep. Fire rescue workers dug by hand to free the man who was not injured. The vehicle of a man missing from New York has been found on fire in Brandon near Tampa. 39-year-old Luis Ortiz has been missing from Rochester since Saturday and he's still missing. With Florida's News, I'm Chris Trankman. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Credit Union Home Loans Traffic Center. U.S. 98 closed just north of the Lakeland area near Duff Road, all due to a crash investigation. Also, we're seeing delays still in Tampa on westbound I-4 from 22nd Street to 275 and southbound 275. Just a bit slow approaching Hillsborough Avenue. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm, Abrahamson Uterich, Hillsboro. Traffic tip line, 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Staples. Staples is your back-to-school destination. Get all the supplies your child needs at incredibly low prices. Right now, Staples comp books and 24-pack Crayola crayons are just 50 cents each. In-store only ends 8 3 Limit 30 while supplies last. Staples. Today we decided to walk to school. The right counted. 15, 15 14, 41, 31, I mean 13. We took, took a left, left on Carroll Street. Street. Danny's well, smart, but he gets distracted. I realized, realized he forgot his homework. I, I hope I he doesn't have another bad day at school. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. That's why there's understood.org, a free resource for the parents of the one in five kids with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Brought to you by Understood and the Ad Council. Academy Award winner Kevin Costner stars in Paramount Network's Yellowstone. All the angels are gone, son. There's only devils left. Season two of Cable's number one new drama, new episode tonight at 10. The walls are closing in on all sides. We're fired. Do you survive? Loyalty. Morality. 
part of the equation. We're about to find out how big a role you play in this family, son. You understand what I'm asking? Oh, my God. Yellowstone Season 2. New episode tonight at 10, 9 central on the new Paramount Network. From the 1250 WHNZ Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center. Rely on Rude. Your Tampa Bay forecast, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and downpours. High 88. Tonight, a few lingering showers, low 78. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a 50-50 rain chance with a high 89. For more news, weather, and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by Ashley Home Store. Ashley Home Store is breaking all the rules by bringing Black Friday mattress savings to July. For a limited time, Ashley Sleep mattresses start at just $119 or get no interest for 84 months. Plus, get up to $300 Ashley cash. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Gordon Deal here sharing the mic on 1250 Wins WHNZ with Todd Schnitt of The Schnitt Show. 3 to 6 in the afternoon. Schnitt, why should people ride home with you? Gordon, if you listen to me from 3 to 6, you'll be more connected to breaking news than you would me with cable news, Facebook and Twitter wired into your cortex. Plus, you get my unflinching opinions and analysis. You set up the day, Gordon, and I'll tell everyone how it plays out. Drive to work with me. Drive home with the Schmidt Show. Three to six weekdays right here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skin care authority. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition, and uh, we are midweek if you're having a, a good day, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show and whatever you may be doing, um, just to put a, a bit of a button on this story about paralysis, polio-like illness in children, five years of age and around five is the average age. And it seems the outbreak occurs late summer, early fall, and every other year they see a rise in the number of children that are being diagnosed with flaccid acute, pardon me, acute flaccid myelitis, AFM. And so it's, it's been like the even years. Last year was a bad year. Uh, they're expecting, I guess, the next even year to, to be bad. So, but nevertheless, uh, they think it's an entero virus. Um, well, they, they have detected enteroviruses and rhinoviruses in nearly half of the respiratory and stool specimens that they have collected from confirmed cases in 2018. So the virus seems to be present. And one of the things that this virus does, it attacks the spinal cord uh, that will affect um, mu movement, the muscles, in your arms and your legs, and also the muscles in your respiratory tract. And many of the children have to be put on breathing machines because they can't breathe on their own. And um, I was looking for the statistic about the number of children that recover fully, uh, at least half. This is according to the CDC. At least 50% of, of children do not recover from the illness. That's stunning. 50%. Are we, what is, I don't know what, what their prognosis is. Are they going to be wheelchair bound? I mean, are they gonna, is it complete paralysis? I, I can't get any more information about that. Um, this is not good. Uh, you say, well, it's only a small number of children. Well, until it's your child, it's not a small number, right? When it becomes your child, it's all of a, all of a sudden a big number. Um, this okay. reminds me of this reminds me of the days of polio. I mean, I remember as a child, very concerned about getting be, getting infected. So, go ahead, Gary. I mean, step on you. No, well, well um, I'm having that discussion now with with schools, and you know. Whether or not I would want to put my kid in a school that didn't have a vaccine, you know, they were not vaccinated. 
yeah, they, most of the schools have a vaccination program, and and you know, parents sign up for it. I mean, did you? I read this thing on with UNICEF, and it was from '96. Yeah, they've been around a long time. Um, UNICEF and Boy. smallpox. Yeah, annual deaths if no immuni- immunization, five point five million. Prevented five million. 96. Uh, diphtheria, 260,000. Uh, prevented 223,000. Whipping cough, 990,000 deaths. Prevented 630. Oh. Measles, 2.7 million people died without immunizations from measles in 1996. Yeah, these death rates were high from these infectious diseases and viral diseases. And um, it's, you know... It is what it is. Uh, I, you know, is, is it a vaccine or is it imperfect? Yes, it is. Um, and we know that too. So, but the abolition of it, complete abolition of these vaccines, you're going to have a nightmare. 877-897-8255. Before, um, there are a, a couple other things reporting uh, that, were, that are worth reporting. I, plastic surgery uh, is a big deal in this country and in others, billions of dollars are spent. I, I don't have the exact numbers on plastic surgery, but it's formidable. Believe you me, people will invest thousands and thousands of dollars uh, to look better. And it's, and it's not cheap. You know, uh, if you have a, a, a very notable plastic surgeon, you know, if somebody's going to work on your face, for example, uh, you want the, you know, the best that you can possibly get for what you can afford and the, and the there is variability among surgeons in terms of cost but the better the surgeon the more it costs but even at moderate cost it's high so what do people do they go to other countries and have plastic surgery done and uh, <laughs> and I know people that have done it and they, you know, they swear you, you save, you know, it's half the cost or less and blah, blah, blah. You save all this money. And I'm thinking, well, okay, what this, you know, this, this, this would not end well. Sure enough, a third American has uh, died this past month uh, for cosmetic procedures being done in the Caribbean. And this is where the people that I know have gone to the Caribbean and they've gone to South America. Right, to get these uh, surgical procedures performed, and you know, I, I'm just saying. Now, according uh, this this story, I was trying to you know track down some more information. There's there's some stuff floating around out there, but um, it's <laughs> somehow I I just can't I can't find more than I want to say about what what's going on uh, a mother from new rochelle uh, new york she died while undergoing plastic surgery in the dominican republic this is according to a cbs news uh <clears throat> new york um report she's the third american to die in, in a month why are any americans still going to the caribbean in the dominican republic period yeah I don't know why. What's going on there? That's <laughs> where all those deaths are lately. I know. So I, know. I just don't. I don't get why anybody would book a flight there. Period. At this point. Well, this woman, um, uh, <laughs> Alexandria Medina, was unhappy with her appearance. All right. This is according to her sister Maxine, and asked doctors in the U.S. about going undergoing liposuction, and this is typically done around the abdominal area. But apparently, uh, she was told that she needed to lose weight before getting the surgery. So she must have really been packing some, a lot of fat in that area. Her sister says that Medina contacted a Dominican physician through Facebook and said the surgery wouldn't be an issue for him. Well, that's no. professional. We, we schedule surgeries on Facebook. Well, and not only that, Katie, the doctors here in the U.S. said that she was too corpulent, too, too obese, too fat, whatever term you want to use,
for them to do to do it, and that she needed to lose some weight first. Uh, and he said, th this doctor was like, no problem, we can do it, we can handle it, I'm quoting, we've dealt with bigger women, so come here, we'll do it. That's awesome. And it's obviously cheaper. I'll come back, I'll tell you more. or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. The science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence. One way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair. Ridgecrest Herbal's award-winning Hair Revive can support healthy, attractive hair. Hair Revive is formulated with a stress-fighting complex, hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker-looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation. And it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex Concentrated Products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that you have three brains? Yes, you heard right. Exciting new research reveals you have three brains, your head brain, your heart brain, and your gut brain. These three brains are like an orchestra with billions of neurons working together to create a harmonic symphony. This intricate relationship between these three brains impacts your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Three Brain Supplements from Natural Factors is a bold new innovation in mental health. It provides a whole body approach to balance brain health and well-being. Start with the Three Brains Total Kit, which includes five supplements that are essential for three brain health. The kit provides foundational support for all three of your brains. Then, depending on your unique needs, choose from higher thoughts to enhance brain performance, mental sunshine for healthy mood balance, serene mind to relieve stress-related fatigue, or the best sleep for restful sleep. Learn more at 3brainshealth.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. VDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. 
The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit VitaminDiscountCenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Hey, don't forget, you can join us on Facebook at Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook. You can also go to our YouTube channel and subscribe at Let's Talk Nutrition on YouTube. And you can go to the iHeart. It's the iHeart.com. Look for podcast, and we're under there at Let's Talk Nutrition on iHeart.com. You can also ask your Google or Lexus device to play Let's Talk Nutrition at 9 a.m. Set your uh, alarm to it. So uh, would you go overseas? To have uh, plastic surgery done. Mm. No. <laughs> uh, a New York mom died. Uh, this, this, this is the third person this month who has died uh, in the Dominican Republic after undergoing plastic surgery. Uh, a New York family, sent the, the, the family of this young woman, her name was Alexandra Medina. She was 33 years old. Her family pleaded with her to cancel this surgery in the Dominican Republic, she was to have uh, a liposuction and then in the vernacular, a tummy tuck. She scheduled it with a clinic in the Dominican Republic, but apparently uh, she went for the surgery at uh, Dr. Urena Adias Clinic in Santiago. This was on 4th of July. And uh, she went and had the surgery, but she didn't survive. Um, I mean, her family is, to say they're distraught is an understatement, uh, but this is the third, the third person within a month. Miss um, Medina was a mom. She had a 14-year-old son, and this was her third plastic surgery, uh, excuse me, this was the third plastic surgery-related death to occur in the Dominican Republic in recent weeks now. The two other deaths involved a father from New York and a teacher from, uh, from Alabama. Now, the, you know, going into South America is not the only place that people go to have the surgery done. They also, of course, uh, go to Europe, and it's very popular to do that. And so would you travel go overseas or go to South America, some other country, to have surgery done, plastic surgery. And the, the main motivation here is cost because cap, plastic surgery in this country is very expensive, especially if you have a, a great plastic surgeon. And, you know, and especially, no matter what the plastic surgery. And when people, they think the costs are just too, too great. Now, according to to, there's an organization called Patients Beyond Borders. Um, according to that outfit, about one and a half million Americans travel to a foreign country um, on average here in the year. I'm looking, yeah, that was last year. That's, you know, a sizable number of people to save money. That's about a tenfold increase from a decade ago. So this is becoming more of a popular Thing to do and a trend <clears throat> and th this is this is where somehow medicine gets implicated with tourism and so you end up with this this thing called medical tourism and so you go on vacation and what you so say you're gonna kill two birds with one stone and you're gonna go on vacation and while you're on vacation you're gonna have a little tuck a little lift 
a little this, a little that, <laughs> whatever, right? And so they work it in, and I, I'll bet you a hundred bucks. I'll have to ask Dr. Bird because she's in the she knows a lot about the travel industry and cruises and this and that. They probably have some uh, package where, <laughs> where you can do this, go on vacation, and then have the surgery done. The global market for medical tourism is expected to grow because people are becoming more interested and assertive about wanting to look better. And they're not going to, you know, they just, and the truth be told, there, there are some things that, that plastic surgery can do that no amount of supplementation or whatever is going to help at a certain point. Now, you can slow the aging process. You can do a lot to, to enhance your odds of aging a lot better and, you know, putting off to a later date surgery. But young people, this woman was only 33 years old, and there are uh, young people having face surgery early, early in life, and doctors will do it. I mean, that, I don't know. Surgeons I know wouldn't, don't do it. Now, people go to places like Costa Rica, Brazil, India. Um, these are very, they're called cost-friendly destinations. But at what cost? I mean, you, you're going to risk your, your life? You're going to go for a rhinoplasty uh, to India? A nose job? Or a facelift? You know, full facelift? A brow lift? Rhinoplasty, whatever. All that I just—if you put that all in one package, that's a twenty-five, thirty thousand dollar bill, easy, with a good face surgeon. You go over Europe, you go somewhere, maybe Costa Rica, or you go to Brazil and South America, you go to Italy or wherever they're doing these things, and if you pay half, what if you get that, get that all done for fifteen thousand? Tempting. And well, how do you how do you vet the surgeon in the country? <laughs> how are you going? You were reading my mind. How are you going to vet that surgeon? I mean, if you don't read if you don't read a language if you don't read Portuguese, you don't speak or read. You want to go to Brazil, have a surgeon do a major surgery on you, augmentation, breast augmentation, face lift, whatever. Tommy me talk. What do you, how, how are you going to do this? You're going to call the uh, the American Embassy in Brazil and get some help there? Which I, would, I don't think so. So I don't yeah. know. I wouldn't do it. Me, I wouldn't do it. I, I have, Gary, I have friends. They have had this done. One lady goes to Colombia. Colombia, of all places. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm shaking my head. I... This poor young woman, she was a mom. She was 33 years old, Miss Medina, Alexandra Medina. Her family is so distraught. They begged her not to go. It's hard because I can't put myself in the mindset of thinking that's okay. So it's so hard to relate with stories like that because I, I could never get in the mindset with wanting change in myself that bad. Well, that's, that's called, you know, and that's why people sometimes we struggle how do you put yourself in the shoes of another mm. and get behind their set of eyes and see the world and be on the other side of their skin, you know, inside of them and feel what they feel? That's part of wellness. That's why this is such an important theme. Come back. We have a lot to do today with you in the second hour.
D. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. See website for full details. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And HEMS makes it extra affordable. Right now, get your first month supply for free. All you pay is just $5 for your medical consultation when you go to 4hems.com slash good. After that, it's just 30 bucks for a month's supply. Sure beats paying big bucks for just one blue pill, doesn't it? Plus, you won't need an awkward in-person doctor's appointment to get the prescription. Hims has doctors online who can prescribe the medication, and a pharmacy sends it right to your door. It's affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hims, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To get your first order for just five bucks, you need to go to this exclusive address, forhims.com slash good. That's forhims.com slash good for your first month for just five bucks. Forhims.com slash good. 1250 wins WHNZ Tampa Bay. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. This is CBS News on the Hour. Real news, real reporting. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. The British ambassador to the U.S. is on his way out. Kim Derrick has turned in his resignation after a war of words with President Trump. Former Ambassador Sir Christopher Meyer. I'm really sorry and I'm also extremely angry that a good man has been brought down by a terrible leak of highly classified documents and by a president as vindictive and spiteful as Kim Derrick said he was in his highly confidential and classified mm. communication. Derrick described the Trump administration as inept. Trump fired back calling the ambassador stupid and wacky. One of the women who accused Jeffrey Epstein of sexual abusing them as girls is speaking out. Jennifer Arios tells NBC's Today Show she was only 14 when he approached her outside her New York City high school in 2001. You knew very well my age. You know exactly, you know, who he was hanging out with, you know. I don't think he cared. She says the financier knew her father had died of AIDS two years before and also knew she was vulnerable. Epstein served a year in jail in Florida. He was indicted on new charges in New York this week. The president wants to change the system to make it easier for people with kidney problems to get help. Correspondent Stephen Portnoy. In a midday speech, the president is set to unveil a series of initiatives aimed at expanding life-saving options for people with chronic kidney disease. About 30 million Americans are afflicted, and treatment costs Medicare more than $100 billion a year. The executive order Mr. Trump will sign reportedly calls for strategies to save lives and money by offering greater access to at-home dialysis and new incentives for doctors to encourage earlier kidney transplants. Fans are cheering on Megan Rapino and her World Cup soccer champ teammates. They're showing off their trophy at a victory parade in New York City right now. I would love to see a day when we don't say, oh, well, they're women. I just want to say, like, oh, yeah, the U.S. national team, like, they're the best. The only mom on the team, Jessica McDonald, taking in the praise with her seven-year-old son, Jeremiah, by her side. A park in New Orleans has flooded as a low-pressure system forms in the Gulf. Forecasters say it could strengthen to a tropical storm by the weekend. WBBM-TV's Megan Glaros. Our model guidance is focusing along the coast of Louisiana, but we could see a landfalling event as far west as Texas and as far east as Florida. The Dow is up 193 points right now as Chairman Jerome Powell strongly hints the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates as soon as this month. The S&P has hit 3,000 for the first time ever. This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe it's because they use Babbel, the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Babbel's award-winning technology gets you speaking right away, whether you're learning Spanish, French, or German. And best of all, you'll remember what you've learned. I always thought I was bad at languages, but after using Babbel, I can tell you I was just taught the wrong way. Using Babbel's 10 to 15 minute lessons, you can be speaking confidently in your new language within weeks. I was amazed that I could start having real life conversations right away. It was so fast. Now I'm speaking Spanish. Woohoo! <laughs> 
No wonder Babbel is the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get conversational in a new language, like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Go to Babbel.com or download the app and try it for free. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, or download the app to try it for free. That's Babbel.com. 1250 WHNZ is streaming on your Amazon Echo device. Just say, Alexa, play 1250 WHNZ from iHeartRadio. I'm Navy veteran Eric Dane. Join us for CBS Eye on Veterans with information for vets transitioning to civilian life weekday mornings at 750 and Saturday evenings at 6 right here on 1250 WHNZ. In an era when it's tough to know which news outlets to trust, there's an alternative which gives you the information about the topics you're interested in. It's the Cats Roundtable with John Katsimatidis. From politics to pop culture, senators to media personalities, John Katsimatidis gets to the heart of what's really going on in politics, business, science, the world. Hear it all on the Cats Roundtable, Sunday mornings at 9. On Tampa Bay's Impact Radio, 1250 WHNZ. Clear westbound on I-4 from the Selma Connector in the 275. Watch for a crash at Belcher and Drew. Northbound Commercial Way or US-19 has wrecked in the right lane at Pine Forest Drive. And eastbound Fishhawk Boulevard remains closed at Bell Shoals Road with utility pole repairs. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Hedrick Hills Road Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Staples. Staples is your back-to-school destination. Get all the supplies you need at incredibly low prices. Now two-pocket poly folders and 120-sheet filler paper are just 50 cents each. In-store only and 713.19. Limit 30 on folders, 5 on paper while supplies last. Staples. Hey, it's Schnitt. Catch up with my latest show on your Amazon Echo device. Just ask Alexa to play the Schnitt Show from iHeartRadio. The following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. During this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. And welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk Nutrition this uh, midday week edition of LTN. Hope you're having a good day, a healthy day, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show. And whatever you may be doing, and whatever that is, it is. It's all good. Uh, we're here a couple hours every day, Monday through Friday, 9.06 a.m. to about 10.56 or 7 a.m., give or take. Five days a week, and everything's archived. So we always tell you how that's done, where, where you can find it, uh, how you can listen, how you can watch, how you can do both, right? It's all here. And um, I was talking in the first hour, uh, the couple of stories that were trending, uh, uh, one about this uh, seat, this uh, condition uh, where children are presenting with polio-like symptoms, and it's called acute flac flaccid myelitis. I reported on that 
talked about that, uh, talked about uh, going overseas to have plastic surgery done. And it just does not seem uh, like a good idea. There's this um, most recent uh, report now is about a woman, Alexandra Medina, who went to Dominican Republic <laughs> and had some plastic surgery done. She's going to have a liposuction and a tummy tuck, and she ended up dying. She's the third person in the, re in the recent uh, several weeks here uh, where they have died. They were having surgery done, plastic surgery done in the Dominican Republic in one place or another. So I'm just saying. Um, so I talked about that as well. Gonna, uh, in this uh, hour today, I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Uh, there's one story I want to share with you about because we talk about it a lot on the show, and that is sleep and um, how poor sleep is connected to uh, weight issues, weight gain, weight loss. You may not make that connection, but we're going to talk about that, and then I'm going to do a little tutorial on given that story about weight gain and weight loss relative to sleep, uh, a little tutorial on obesogenic environments. What exactly is an obesogenic environment, and do you live in one? Hmm. And uh, to what extent uh, might it put you at risk for becoming obese? So we'll talk about that. There's, um, you know, this... Pre, what's called an obesogenic environment, a pro-obesity environment. And this conversation is always, not always, but gets implicated with genes. How much of obesity is driven by your genes? How much of it, it could be driven by these obesogenic environments or pro-obesity environments? What's accounting for most of the variance for obesity? And so we'll... we'll um, that'll get implicated in a conversation, and there's other stories that are trending as well. Here's a way to con con make contact with the show and connect. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Don't forget, you can go to our YouTube page at Let's Talk Nutrition on YouTube. Ask Alexis or your Google device to play Let's Talk Nutrition, or you can go to our Facebook page and send us a message at Let's Talk Nutrition on YouTube. And you were just talking about an obese situation, living in an obese environment. Environment. What about growing up in an obese? Well, environment? that's what I'm talking okay. about. That, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Where you live, growing up, uh, and we'll see what we'll, we'll I'll, in the tutorial. I'll try to I'll define for you what an obesogenic obesogenic environment is. Now there are various there are variations on the theme of the definition, but. Generally, there's some agreement about what constitutes an obesogenic environment. What are the variables? And more than a few people live in one of these kinds of environments. So, in setting that up, I can, we can talk about a, a, this, the importance of sleep. We have done more shows on this topic, uh, one after another. I uh, was even recently talking about sleep and how important it is. Uh, it's an understatement. It's almost insulting to say that because it's so obvious. But sometimes you've got to say the obvious. And it, uh, poor sleep has been associated with any number of factor, factors, constellation of factors related to health, one of which is weight gain uh, and weight. Now, obesity is a huge no pun intended, huge problem in this country. You know, 69 now, seven, better, you know, better than 68% is overweight or obese, better than a third is obese. Um, so that, this, having an unhealthy weight and all the, I mean, we've, that theme, we, we've worked that to death. Uh, what the research says about how much sleep do you need, it's, it's getting, and as I looked at these different studies, it's somewhere between six and eight. Um, anything less than that, anything more than that, you seem to, it, they, the literature seems to suggest that there's going to be health issues. You can get, in fact, too much sleep. But they say seven hours at least of uninterrupted sleep is probably pretty good. Eight is optimal. You can pop six is okay. You're pushing it. 
less than that, and you're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel rested. And believe it or not, as many as, uh, you know, the, the numbers are very high for insomnia. What, is it, 7 out of 10 people, some, some crazy statistic, people suffering from insomnia, some form of some sleep disorder, and the quality of their life is, is profoundly Im, uh, impacted by uh, a lack of sufficient, su sufficient sleep and quality sleep. And one argument is, one theory or hypothesis is that insufficient sleep, not getting enough sleep, and these, this is reflected in several studies, recent ones, can affect circulation, your blood circulation, uh, aspects of memory, and even your relationships. These are recent ones. Now, there's a whole line of research. I mean, it's, there's more than one lane of research uh, in this arena of sleep. According now, a study that, feature, that, that features in the International Journal, Journal of Obesity, uh, you'll find it there, they found a, a correlation between insufficient or disrupted sleep and weight loss. Hmm. What they, in a nutshell, what they found was that overweight people who did not sleep well uh, lost weight, <clears throat> pardon me, did not sleep well, lost weight than their peers who had no sleep problems. Okay? Results show that overweight people who did not sleep well lost weight, uh, less weight than their peers who had no sleep problems. In other words, the people who were over, overweight uh, were not doing well in losing weight. Just this, that variable alone accounted for them losing less weight than the people who had no sleep issues, no insomnia. That's remarkable. Uh, this, this study comes from the Human Nutrition Unit of, uh, see if I can pronounce this, uh, of Rovira uh, Virg Virgili University in, uh, in Spain. This is interesting. And this, is, again, this is not the only study when you look at people who are struggling with weight, more often than not, you're going to find that there is some sleep issue. And when, if you're a nutritionist or a dietitian and you're counseling a client, you need to inquire as to what their, the quality of their sleep is. How long are they sleeping? You know, what are their sleep patterns? How are they doing with sleep? That merits, that merits attention. It's a lifestyle, it's a lifestyle a variable. The lead, uh, Dr. Uh, Salvado, I'll tell you what, what he said and the, what he captured as the, the message of the study. Then we're going to talk about obesogenic environments and what that means. Ridgecrest Herbal's original Clear Lung Supplement has been the number one supplement.
Buckner. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Celsius is a fitness drink which is clinically proven to function. How? As a thermogenic, Celsius proprietary MetaPlus blend accelerates metabolism, increasing your body's ability to burn fat and calories. There are only two ways a body burns fat, through increased heart rate and our increased body temperature, thermogenesis. Drinking Celsius and then going into motion is double dipping. You're accelerating the burn and the results are even faster. Celsius is your ultimate fitness partner. No high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. 100% of seven essential vitamins. Proven in six published university studies. How does it work? Celsius proprietary MetaPlus formula, including green tea with EGCS, ginger, and guana seed, turns on thermogenesis, a, a process that boosts your body's metabolic rate. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities is proven to energize, accelerate metabolism, burn body fat, and calories. Invest in yourself. Drink Celsius. Look for us at www.celsius.com. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. It turns out that uh, there are indeed certain people who have this genetic predisposition to gain weight. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Glad you could tune in today uh, to listen or watch. And uh, this, this the conversation about obesity is, you know, becomes more and more a part of the everyday discourse in the world of health and medicine and, and matters related, nutrition and whatnot. But that being said, that genetics, there are some people that genetically are predisposed to gain weight and to become obese. The genetic difference is not able to explain away this surge in, uh, ob in obesity, the rise, the prevalence, the incidence and the prevalence of obesity since the 1960s. You cannot attribute that linear, unrelenting increase to genes. It doesn't work that way. We're not evolving as a species in a way now that somehow, so quickly in decades, uh, developed this propensity for obesity. It takes tens of thousands, if not millions of years for that to happen. So now we know that. So, but that being said, too, it's probably not one or the other, <clears throat> but often it can be an interaction between the two. Now, there's some people that have, and, and by the way, we evolved as a species to uh, not to be necessarily lean, but to gain weight. And it's, it was a life uh, survival mechanism. The body, we, the, we learned over millions of years through evolution, we so naturally selected to l stay alive by the body being able to store energy in, in called fat. It's a f source of energy. And keeps people alive. It kept our ancient ancestors alive. 
Now, ironically, it's killing people. Think about that for a second. The ability to gain weight was a survival mechanism. Now it's a, uh, a mechanism to, to bring about early death. Interesting how that paradox has unfolded. So researchers are conceding that the likely explanation in this rise in obesity stems from interactions between genes and other variables, factors, your diet, your lifestyle. That would include sleep that I just talked about, your physical activity, how much stress you're under, and so on, and where you live, what kind of environment, and do you live in an obesogenic or pro-obesity environment? That's a variable that among the experts gets a lot of attention, but among lay people, not so much. You don't hear these weight loss programs and whatnot talking about obesogenic environments. So you'll hear it here, though. They're, they're, these are the conclusions that researchers at, in Norway came to after they did this longitudinal study spanning over four decades uh, of data and more than 100,000 people involved in the study. They reported their findings in the Brit, a BMJ, the British Medical Journal, so a highly prestigious journal. They said that one of the important messages from this study is it appears that the environments in which people live on a day-to-day -day basis increasingly favor obesity and contribute to a, the obesity ep epidemic more so than do genetic factors. With the, you know, and there's another a, a, par a paradox or irony that's happening here. As we have become more sophisticated and quote-unquote civilized, in uh, our communities and creating sit towns and cities and whatnot, uh, we become, we, we, we now have live in a more obesogenic favoring environment. In other words, and I'll, I'll define what that is in here in a moment, and uh, just generally an environment that would favor you gaining weight, it would put you at risk for gaining weight. And we become, in, you know, our, our, our quest for convenience has contributed to this. So we create environments whereby convenience is the priority. Not necessarily are we building this community, this environment with sidewalks, with parks, with what other, and, but it's more compli even more complicated than that. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So this is an... A, a, this is really, I haven't talked about it that much on the show, and I thought we'd put a little bit of a spotlight on it. And you could be living in an obesogenic environment, generally in a neighborhood where you are, but in your own circle of friends and family. It could be such that it inspires obesity in the way that family is organized and, and where it lives together and, and what it does and so on. So we're going to explore that. Uh, in, in some depth today, depth today, but then we have a caller out of Bradenton, Florida. John, welcome to the show. It's great to have you on. Uh, Dr. Gorko? Yes. Yes. Um, I have uh, followed many of the books you suggested, China Study and to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, and uh, you've had, um, uh, I appreciate you passing on reading lists and passing on articles that Jane Brody has written in the New York Times. Oh, yeah. Um, you have influenced my life, and I'm glad. Sounds like your health is doing well. Well, Here's thank you. my question. Hold, hold your uh, question. We're going we're gonna to go into uh, the bottom of the hour here, John, and uh, pay a few bills, and we'll come back, and I'll pick you up as soon as we come back. Just hang on. Hang I'm there. Not, I'm not uh, going anywhere. Good deal. We'll be back. LT on Coast to Coast and Globally.
specifically formulated to get you the rest you need without feeling sluggish when you wake. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order to find out where to find Hepanol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at whnz.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. And iHeartRadio station. I'm Navy veteran Eric Dane. Join us for CBS Eye on Veterans with information for vets transitioning to civilian life weekday mornings at 7.50 and Saturday evenings at 6, right here on 1250 WHNZ. News on 1250 WHNZ. There's new disturbing video in the Tampa shark dragging case that went viral. That's video showing boaters shooting the shark with a revolver. It was revealed as part of the discovery process and the trial of Robert Benak, who's accused of animal cruelty. Oil platforms in the Gulf of Mexico are being evacuated as a precaution in case a low-pressure system in North Florida turns into a tropical storm later this week. Some birds in Pinellas County appear to be the victims of animal abuse. A group called Birds in Helping Hands posted photos online of great egrets covered in paint. They suspect someone shot the white birds with a paintball gun. FWC says the birds are fragile and a paintball could break their necks. With Florida's News, I'm Chris Trankman. Serious accident investigation still has US 98 closed between Duff Road and Socrum Loop Road. Utility pole repairs still block eastbound Fishhawk Boulevard at Bell Shoals Road. And wreck blocks the right lane northbound on Commercial Way at Pine Forest Drive in Spring Hill. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Erick Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Pros do it right to save 5% more on eligible purchases every day just by using your Lowe's business credit account. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. Subject to credit approval cannot be combined with other credit offers. Exclusions apply U.S. only. At CarMax, when we say we buy all the cars, we mean it. Over the last 20 years, we've purchased millions of cars from coast to coast. In the last year alone, we've bought a mountain of Mercury's, an armada of Nissan's, a ton of Titans, an ocean of Pacificas, and a sea of Sienna's. Not to mention a few Hellcats and a couple of Tornadoes. So no matter what you're selling, CarMax is buying. And we'll buy your car even if you don't buy ours. CarMax. We buy all the cars. Baseball season is in full swing. Right here, popcorn. Get your popcorn. It's a good thing Matt secured his denture with Super Poly Grip. Now he can enjoy the snacks as much as the game. Poly Grip. It's that time of year when the family meets up. Hi, come on. Get together, guys. Family photo. It's a good thing Jack cleans his denture with Polydent so he can enjoy the whole day with confidence. Polydent. From the Weather Center, Abrahamson and Uterwick, theinjurylawyers.com. Drive safely. Pinellas Hillsborough. Your Tampa Bay forecast, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and downpours. High 88. Tonight, a few lingering showers. Low 78. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a 50-50 rain chance with a high 89. For more news, weather, and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. Sponsored by Farmers Insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. At Farmers Insurance, we know a roof can withstand a lot. One exception being an airborne car. Seen it, covered it. Talk to farmers. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Hi, this is Dr. Michael Garka from Let's Talk Nutrition on 1250 WHNZ. Thanks for taking us along when you drive to work or go for a walk. You can also bring us into your home as well. If you have Amazon Echo, to hear us when we're live, tell Alexa to, and use these words, set my alarm to play 1250 WHNZ weekdays at 9 a.m. If you'd like to hear the Let's Talk Nutrition podcast, ask Alexa to play Let's Talk Nutrition on iHeartRadio. I promise Let's Talk Nutrition is a good house guest, live or podcast.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skincare authority. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. So do you live in an obesogenic environment? Uh, <laughs> And does that make a difference? What is an obesogenic environment? Will it, can it affect you? Does it affect people? What does it lead to? What does it mean? We're going to explore that. Uh, like a little tutorial today on obesogen, obesogenic environments. This is something that implicates everybody listening and watching the show. That's, that's one reason why I'm zeroing in on it. Another is that <clears throat> it's a variable that really does uh, deserve attention and plays a, more of a role than we realize in what's occurring in our society and other societies and countries around the world. This, this linear, multi-decade increase in obesity. We'll come back to that in a second. We were talking with John in Bradenton, Florida. We went into messages. And you had a question, John. Hey, uh, Dr. Garko and uh, Gary and Katie, uh, I've reached out to Sally, uh, Sally Bird uh, by email and Dr. Cameron Moeller out at American uh, Tech Dio, Biotech Labs. American Biotech Labs, I'm, yeah. I'm struggling. I like the silver gel 20 part per million uh, lotion uh, or gel, and it works well on hands. Yes. And where I'm, I'm having trouble looking at the 10 parts per million immune system by taking another additive into my body. I already, I'm an old man, I already take medications, I'm concerned about side effects. I have read the book, or I'm almost finished reading the natural, Nature's Natural Healer from the Silver Use Institute. Would PubMed have more information? Most likely. Uh, yeah. Are you concerned about? Uh, uh, are you concerned about how much silver you're taking and and having some interaction effect with medications? Well, I would. I would never. I would start with maybe one teaspoon a day. Yeah. I, I mean, because you don't want to. Yeah. The the, the, the silver biotics. What I can tell you, if I understand your question, John, is that the silver biotics, the immune support product. I there is as far as I know there are no reported interaction effects with drugs and okay and now you know you can um you have doc you have a way to contact Dr. Bird I would I would continue to reach out to her and I know that Silver Biotics is a very research uh American Biotech Labs is a very research oriented uh, company and I that, that that's a that's a question easily answered but I I recall Dr. Bird saying on air that she knows of no interaction effects, if my recollection serves me. But that's what I would continue to do. Uh, you can okay, start slow. Uh, I, will, I will email her if she could suggest some references. Uh, you know, and I know you would support this. Yeah. An educated consumer is better. Oh. You know, the more you learn, and, and, and that's what you do, the more you learn, the better person you are. Absolutely. You can help people. Hunter, Hunter, John, okay. well, John, well stated. Thank you so much. Thank you for, and okay. thank you for your that's kind, right. thank you for your kind uh, words. What's your talk? Just one thing, one thing. Yeah. Um, the talk of the, I have struggled with my weight all my life. Mm. It's like binging and purging and the fact that I'm on a kind of whole food, plant-based, it breaks my heart because I see family members that it's like recreational eating and people are eating this processed food. It mm. breaks my heart. Yeah. I see, I volunteer at elementary schools. I see kids uh, that are so unhealthy. Mm. And uh, it it bothers me. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how we can change yeah. the narrative. Well, that uh, and yeah, I I appreciate. It, it's upsetting. Uh, it is upsetting, and I and I'm with you 100. percent I it also upsets me. You know, you say, I'm not just a, a casual observer or bystander of this. I'm highly invested in this health issue um, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. And so, you know, how we're going to resolve this, and I've often said the way we're approaching this, 
um, problem is we need to be more educational about it and integrate it into the school system, into the curriculums, uh, how, you know, teaching children more about health, more about nutrition, and not just some throwaway health class. It has to become a, a serious part of the, the, the curriculum and the corpus of studies that, and works that the students read and uh, educate themselves with in these classes. So it's, that's, my, it's, po- that's my, my, my bias. You, know, you, have to, you cannot uh, treat your way out of this uh, epidemic. You have to teach your way out of it. You can't, well, I'll repeat that, you can't, you're not going to treat your way out of the obesity epidemic, you're going to teach your way out of it. I don't know if that makes Let sense me make to you. One, one, yeah. one quick comment. Sure. I, brought, I was brought up, and in, in my parents, in the, in, the, in the world I grew up in, if you're going to clean a toilet, you clean it the best you could. If you were going to dig a ditch, you dig it dug at the best I get it yeah and the values that I were my parents didn't abuse food they, they ate healthy and it starts at home and if mom and dad eat crap and junk the kids are going to eat it I love you doctor I love Gary I love Katie and everybody I'm going to sign off thank you for your oh time. it's, our, it's our pl- listen uh, we appreciate you and we appreciate your passion um, you get it uh, it is about learning and trying to find our way. We're all trying to find our way. Listen, I have, I have colleagues who are experts, right, in their prospective fields. Oftentimes, they're more lost than the, <laughs> than the people that they're, you know, trying to help. Uh, so we're all in it together. Let's go to Langs, uh, um, Lansdale. Is that Lansdale? Lansdale, Pennsylvania? Marlene, welcome to the show. Hi, Marlene. Hello, how are you? Hey, Marlene, there you are. Long time no see. Uh, where have you been? It's nice to hear your voice. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Good. What's on your mind? Listen, I have a question for Dr. Garko. I would like to know what is the difference between the silver and the colloidal silver. The, the, silver, the difference between a silver and, and, and what? Collo- colloidal silver. Um, it's C O L L O I. Oh, colloidal, C-O-L-L. colloidal, the colloidal silver. That's what you're. Yes. yes. You're, you're, so you're wanting to know the difference between silver biotics yes. uh, product and this colloidal silver. Yes. Uh, that's. <laughs> you always ask hard questions, Marlene. <laughs> um, the the silver biotics. Uh, I'm, I'm going to their website. They have a technology that is, um, and, doc, and I've spoken with uh, Dr. Muller, who's the one of the principals at the company and is very research-oriented. And when we come back, I'll, I'll, I'll we're almost out of time. i got one more segment. I will, I'll try to just give you a, a real quick snapshot of what we mean by the, you know what this technology is at silver biotics and this issue of colloidal silver that's not an easy answer to that question so we'll come back we'll get we'll get we'll get to it you are listening to let's talk nutrition coast to coast and globally we'll have the ltn health question of the day too when we return want to get PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit pgx.com. 
Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent, turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO, project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamend, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamend is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Have you been putting off a cleanse? They can be harsh and leave you chained to the toilet, making for an overall unpleasant experience. Rethink your cleanse with Fluorescence, a daily cleanse that helps safely and gently detoxify your body. Unlike other detoxes that can be hard on the body, Fluorescence supports your body's natural processes, helping it to work more efficiently than it could on its own. The truth is your body is really good at cleansing, but due to the number of toxins we're exposed to, it can use a little daily support. Inspired by traditional Obijway formula, Fluorescence is made with eight herbs, burdock root, watercress, sheep sorrel herb, slippery elm, rhubarb root, kelp, blessed thistle, and red clover blossom. These herbs work together to support multiple elimination pathways, gently helping your body's detox systems do what they were made to do, only better. Forget harsh extreme cleanses and cleanse happy. Try Fluorescence for gentle daily cleansing that leaves you feeling rejuvenated. Find Fluorescence at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effect of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation, natural factors where great health begins, Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless, Celsius, live fit, Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom, Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. I'm uh, going to have the health question of the day. I've been trying to get to this uh, little theme, this little tutorial on obesogenic environments, but we're having calls. So I can always go back to this theme, but, you know, I don't like to leave people hanging out there on the phone and we take all calls. But here's the question. Um, 
and then maybe tomorrow I can even get into more of this notion of an obesity. I think it's a very important theme and will make sense and it has intuitive appeal and it may cause you to think about your environment and where you live and how you're living and is it contributing to the, your potential to gain weight or to become obese. Now, a built environment is different versus an obesogenic environment. <clears throat> the built environment, those, that's refer, that, what that refers to when they use that phrase, built environment, that's all the buildings in the space created or modified by society, by people that form the physical characteristics of a community, the built environment, the buildings, the sidewalks, the parks, the this and the that, mm -hmm. all that's called the built environment. It would, you know, the build, the buildings, the roads, the buses, the homes, the parks, recreational areas, greenways, shops, business areas, uh, and so on. That would constitute the built environment. An obesogenic environment on a very fundamental level refers to an environment, according to Swinburne, that promotes gaining weight <clears throat> and one not conducive to weight loss. Okay. Got that? So here's the, here's the health question of the day. Is the, is the built environment, you know, generally, is that the same concept as obesogenic environment? Is the built environment, is it yes or no? Is the built environment the same concept as an obesogenic environment? Or I can put it in the form of a true and false question. The built environment is different is a different concept from an obesogenic environment. Is that statement true or false? The built environment is a different concept than the obesogenic environment. True or false? Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. That's eight seven seven eight nine seven talk. Okay, go back to Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Marlene, all right. To answer your question about silver biotics uh, products. Their, for example, their immune system product. And you were asking about, is, is colloidal silver, how is it different from silver biotics product, right? Is it, was that your question? Correct. All right. So what they've done at silver biotics, they've developed this co technology called silver soul technology. All right. What does that mean? In a word. In a word, what they've done is taken the old technology of colloidal silver and improved upon it. Um, and they've done that in a number of ways through manufacturing techniques, and they have a number of patents now associated with this silver soul, um, silver soul technology, colloidal silver technology. It, it doesn't, it's a variation on a theme. It's not, it's an improvement upon colloidal silver an advancement on the original colloidal silvers. Um, and what this silver soul, it's a, the silver soul products or the silver biotics products, these are uh, what they call uh, nano, uh, metallic nano silver particles. They create, they've, they've got these nano, what they're called nano silver particles. They're very, very small uh, particles. And the um, particle, the way it's, these nanoparticles can steal, this is now chemistry, steal multiple electrons. And it shows them to be, hence, 10 times more effective <coughs> than these other products, up to 3,000 parts per million of silver. In a word, uh, the silver biotics product, their colloidal, their form of how they improved upon it, the silver is more stable. Uh, it is um, more bioavailable than regular colloidal silver. Uh, it promotes, um, uh, it's probiotic friendly. It does not inhibit the growth of good healthy probiotics in your gastrointestinal tract. And the whole point of this product is that it's more stable and more bioavailable. And I don't know what the all of the technical science involved in what that technology is, Dr. Bird might know more. Um, and how, you know, it's a patented product. So, but in a word, they have this. It's a silver soul technology, which is nanoparticle technology. 
they've made the the silver more stable and more my more s smaller and hence more bioavailable at least as i understand it i don't know if i answered your question but that's the best i can do on the fly okay i more or less i, I understand <laughs> it it <laughs> And the, and the point is, what, what your question implies is how does this product, the Silver Soul product, or Silver Biotics product, differ? It differs in, in the way that they have suspended the molecules in the solution, and they've, they put them, they've reduced the size. They're now nanoparticles, and, and, and there's other chemistry involved in here. It's a metallic nano-silver particle. At the end of the day, it's just more bioavailable, more stable, and it causes the product to be safer and more effective. Uh, and I've used these products, and I, like for example, the uh, silver, the silver biotics uh, mouth gel, tooth gel. That product is amazing. If you have a periodontal disease or tender gums, or you have a little bit of infection, uh, you know, and you're trying to something irritation on your gums. Just put that, rub it on, let it, you can swallow it uh, before you go to bed. For example, you can put it in and move it around all of the area and th throughout your mouth and sleep with it, put it in during the day. The, that product has worked for me um, in terms of healing wounds. It works. It's an amazing product. Amazing. So, you know, I, I was a skeptic. Remember, I burnt myself really bad on my motorcycle. And you used that product. And I used that product. It was healed in two weeks. It was it was one of the most amazing things that I've ever seen. So you know, there's a lot of anecdotal evidence, and I have a lot of science too to support them. So if you're interested in using their products, you know that you hear a lot about it on this show. Um, what is your opinion about uh, the liquid silver? So for maintenance, how much a person can take? Follow the directions on the bottle. I think it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon a day. You can't overdose on this, uh, so don't worry about too much about that. Just as maintenance, one or two tablespoons a day, maybe, hmm. or a teaspoon, whatever it says on the bottle. Marlene, thank you for your call. we got to fly. Your health is your wealth. We'll see you tomorrow.